me hotties. Oh, ho. a very good evening to you, me hotties. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo, from me, Scotty McClue. So much to talk about tonight, so little time to do it in. Get yourselves sorted out and come and join us, I say, as soon as is practically possible. Now, who have we got here? Wonderful stuff. There's Thomas joining us, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome. Sorry, I'm just sorting out a cable there. That's better. That's it done. <laughs> Business done. I will soon get you a little bit more light, but not too much. How's that? Is that too much light? Would you like a little bit less? Let's see if we take it down to that. How is that? Dinky Doo, exit stuff. Hello, I'm back. Hello, Thomas. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. Hi, thank you, oh, Luke Dandelion. How are you, says Thomas? Very, very good, Thomas. Lovely to have you with us. And a special Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue to every single one of you. That's what it's all about. Uh, we are, of course, live on TikTok, one of the world's great live streaming platforms. This is the place to be. Now, I've published a lot of TikTok videos for you guys, so get yourselves on there. Remember, no scrolling, all right? As soon as you come across this, you stop scrolling because you've arrived. That's what it's all about. There's my badge for your dinky you know, Scotty McClure. Fantastic. How good is that? How's your day, Scotty? Thomas, my day has been absolutely outstanding. Fantastic bit of work today, and uh, just amazing things are happening. It's incredible, absolutely incredible. Is it coming home? Well, Isaac, what do you think? Where is home? That's what we need to establish, because home is different places for different people. So if it's coming home, we need to know where is home. All right, fantastic stuff. Isaac says, home. Yes, indeed. Abs has sent me a beautiful red rose. Abs, you have no idea how generous the lovely people are on this live stream. It's just incredible. And thank you, thank you, thank you. I thank you, I say. Are we beating Ukraine? Who's we, MSH? We need detail. Get the detail in there. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, for goodness sake. This is huge. Sexy guitar, thank you so much for my lovely, lovely red roses. Evening, Scotty, sending hugs and kisses. I thank you so much. Wolf Blaze. Hi, Sonia. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us and welcome. Love your hat, says Dean. Thank you, Dean. I've had it for 29 years. Oh, England. Oh, England. Right, it's football coming home to England. Good evening, good sir, Dinky Doo. Hello, Scotty. Dinky Doo, and a very warm welcome. Scottish Jack, hello again. I say you are here this morning, Scottish Jack. Fantastic. Just what we like. Let's see if we can get you a little bit more light, guys. Uh, and see if we can uh, brighten this up a bit for you. How's that? Is that better? Or is that too much? Do tell, spill the beans. I say follow us as soon as you come on. Thank you, Isaac. Very much appreciated for a follow. And also remember to go and like the TikTok videos. Fantastic. Isaac, thank you so much. Hey, from Germany, from Bavaria. Yes, BMW, the Bavarian Mutterwerken. How are you doing, laddie? Didn't you do? Oh, fantastic. That's good lighting. Is that okay, Thomas? I like to try and get the lighting as good as possible so that people can enjoy the show. Hello from Devon, from glorious Devon. Dinky do Devon. Very debonair. Hey, evening, Scotty. Dinky do Stevie. Good to have you with us. Welcome. Stuarty. Dinky do. Where are you from, Scotty? Isaac, I am from Scotland. Yes, in the, the, the north of the United Kingdom, uh, for for now, pro tem, pro tem. Uh, I'm off to bed, sweet dreams, wolf plays, have a lovely, lovely evening, and dink you do to your dear self, how amazing are you, can you sing happy birthday to my friend Taylor, no I can't because it's under copyright, but uh, thank you for asking, but I could wish happy birthday to your friend Taylor, how about that, hello from County Down, Gee, lovely to have you with us from the county down. I say, fantastic. Do you know the star of the county down? 
Rich and Root has sent me beautiful red roses. A dozen red roses from Rich and Root. I thank you, Rich and Root. You are very, very, very kind. Oh, my goodness, he's gone past the dozen. Two dozen. Rich and Root, what are you doing? He's just given us two dozen red roses. Share the live, guys. Get following. Happy birthday to my friend Majestic. Yes, I can, Isaac. I started yesterday. Brilliant, Thomas. Thank you. Rich and Root, what are you doing? You must stop. He's away up at 70. Oh, my goodness. Phil Mitchell, what are you doing? It's coming home. Do you think so, user? User 476. Thank you, Phil, for your lovely fireball. Guys, you are incredibly generous to me. It's very, very humbling. Rich and Root, what are you doing? Oh, now, Rich and Root, I know you from old, and you are a very, very generous man. But please stop at a sensible time. Fantastic. Rich and Root, what are you doing? He's multitasking. Fantastic. My birthday's in August. Did you do, Scotty? How are you doing? Do you love Syria and Palestine? Of course I do. I love all of the Middle East. Yes, indeed. Welcome. Loving the hat, Scotty. Dinky you do. The only reason I don't live in the Middle East is the sand is too hot during the day. You can't walk on it. Uh, there we are. Hi from Erskine in Renfrewshire. George, I love Erskine. I've been going to Erskine right now. See the big monument in Erskine. Is that to Lord Blythewood? Is that to a Campbell? I ask you. Fantastic. Rich and Rude, what are you doing? Guys, Rich and Rude's gone over 200 red roses. How amazing is that? Hello, I hope you have a good day, Eddie. Thank you so much. Good evening, Scotty. Sonia is sending me lots of beautiful hearts. I thank you, Sonia. You are such a lovely person. Just passing through, dinky do Scotty McClue, scoop. Try and not pass through in the future. Stay with us and enjoy the banter. This is massive. Rich and Root, what are you doing? He's gone over 250, guys. Think you do, Sir Scotty McClure, our hashtag, float eye, all uppercase, first lord of the internet. Hope you have a splendiferous day today. MSM, you are so very, very kind. Rich and Root, what are you doing? This is Rich and Root, you will bankrupt yourself. Stop it now. Stop. Oh. It's so hot in this studio tonight. I say, you are my inspiration. Rich and Root, you have been so, so very, very kind to me, though. What are you doing? How can you multitask? How can you send me red roses, 350 red roses, and yet you're also typing messages to me? That's a skill. But I start, Rich and Root, this is so very, very kind of you. Good morning from Western Australia, Alan. Lovely to have you with us. Now, Alan, I popped up this morning live on TikTok Live, and you were there from West Australia. That must be 10 hours ago. Just incredible. 12 hours ago, in fact. How are you, mate? Corey, how lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, I say. Evening, a bonny, sunny Stornaway. Have you had a beautiful sunset tonight, Nobby, from Sturnaver? I say, Kamraha, umaha. Lovely to have you with us. Falchi, Falchi, Keed, Emily Falchi. So there you are, wonderful. Hi, Scotty, how have you been? I have been absolutely amazing. My goodness me, what a day I've had. Wonderful, wonderful day meeting beautiful, beautiful people. Incredible people who were very, very good at their job. How amazing is that? Scotty, how have you been? Oh, my goodness me, thank you. Well, I'm going to sleep now. It's almost midnight. Enjoy your life here. Enjoy your evening. Thomas, where are you that it is midnight? Good night, Scotty. Ross, dinky do. Good night to you. Lovely to have you with us. And thank you for joining us. Tremendous stuff. Scotty, how are we doing? Hello. Well, in Lithuania, it's now midnight plus 52. So it's eight minutes to one o'clock in the morning in Lithuania. How amazing is that? Guys, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. Get on to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel. You'll see the URL in front of you. Subscribe and tap the bell. And did you get my TikTok video about coming and doing some serious following, some serious liking? I need to get these figures up. 600,000 people have been watching. Uh, so there we go. Now, 
Uh, what we'll do with Mike is send him straight down the Swanee for being a half wit. There he goes, Tarala. Now that's him gone. Hello, if you don't mind me asking, what's your accent, says Eddie? Well, it's not really an accent, Eddie. It's just the way I speak. I'm a Scotsman, and this is the way we speak in Scotland. Oh, the banter from Moscow, Scotty. Ah, Previt, Previt. Lovely to have you with us. Lord State Pie. Scotty, yes, indeed. Ah, now, and I'll say to you, Das Vidania, Scoop, Das Vidania. Lovely to have you with us. Do you agree there won't be another lockdown? Stevie, I would never absolutely rule anything out with this mob. I really, really wouldn't. There may well be another lockdown. We just don't know. If COVID goes bananas again, there could be another lockdown. Yeah, I don't want to be the one that goes, oh, no, no, no. No, I'm sure there won't be. Hi, Scotty. Hope you've had a fantastic day. Dr. Wolf. I have had the day of gorgeous days. Just amazing. Rich and very polite. Shakaroni, yes, rich and rude. You are rich and very polite. My friend Shakaroni, my wingman, has never got it wrong. Can we hear about your McClure's vegetarian pies with a chicken gravy? No, it's vegetarian lattice slice in a rich chicken sauce. Uh, slightly different from vegetarian pies with chicken gravy, but the same idea. Are you with me, I say? Richie Root is the most politest of men. He is the uh, politest man. What's uh, your honour now? Piano Cascade, that's the kind of nonsense you might troll people with. Never, ever, ever, ever troll Scotty McClue. Now, because you might be new to the stream, I think you should be allowed to survive for once. So what I'm going to do, guys, can you see Piano Cascade there? I'm going to give Piano Cascade a chance and say if he grows up and becomes more sensible, then we can have him on. If not, he's toast and doing this one here. What do we think? You tell me. Richie Polite, MSN. How's Mr. McClure? Sean, how lovely to have you with us. And dink you do. Richard Root says, thanks, Shakarone. We love you, Rich. Dink you do. We do indeed, Rich. And that was so very, very, very generous of you. Very, very kind. Absolutely. Um, hello, Scotty. We've not been on for a while. Can I still have a shout out for myself, Linda Lewis, and Jamai? You certainly can, Scott Fraser. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do from Scotty McClue. That's what it's all about. Guys, get yourselves on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel and also look at all the TikTok videos. Can we have somebody volunteering to go and like them all? Tell us when you're going and tell us when you get back. That would help. Uh, Scotty, the monument is to Lord Blantyre. There's a grand piano buried under it. Is Lord Blantyre buried under it as well, George? And is, was Lord Blantyre a Campbell? Did he own Erskine House, now Mar Lodge, that was for many years the main Erskine Hospital building? I'd love to know all about this. Scotty, dinky doo. And Neve, yes, Neve as well, Scott, no problem. Uh, Shakaroni, you're the main man, says Rich and Root, or Rich and very, very exceptionally polite. Good evening, Scotty, says Tate. Tate, it's so good to have you on. Welcome, welcome from Scotty McClue, right round the whole universe. Just amazing. Good evening, Scotty. It hasn't set yet, still beautiful blue skies. Oh, nobby. And there's the water cam. Yes, what, what ferry comes into you? Is it the Isle of Lewis? I see. Slow ahead, boys. We're just coming in to start now. Can I tell you, have you ever heard of the Yolair and the Yolair disaster? I had a dear friend from Lewis and his father was on the Yolair. They were coming back from the First World War. Uh, I think, was it 1918, the All Air disaster? They were coming back from the First World War on the paddle steamer, I think, Yol Air, which is Gaelic for eagle, and the Isle Air, or Yol Air. And um, a lot of them were lost. 
the ship foundered in a rock and they couldn't get ashore and a lot of them were lost. And I had a dear friend whose father was lost in the Yolier. Amazing. And that man, because it was New Year and they weren't sure if people had had a refreshment or whatever, that man never drank for the rest of his life. Amazing stuff. Now, who else have we got? I saw, no, you didn't. So, hey to Zilly, you're one of these little trolls that's in the wrong stream with McClue. Totally wrong. You keep your silly comments for other people. All right, they don't fit in on here. Guys, hate silly's gone. Toast, doing the soiree. Woo! We love it. So, there you are. What a stupid thing to put about you saw, I saw your nan. I mean, you know, my nan's been dead for 50 years, you know, and another one's been dead for 60 years, you know, uh, 60, 64 years. If you don't mind me asking, what's your accent, Eddie? I think I told you that, didn't I? You're spamming me now. There we are. Drum Chaplain Royston. Welcome, Scott. Uh, now, Eddie, I think what we'll do is we'll dump you as well because... That's you spamming now. There you are. Eddie's gone, or John, as we say. Fantastic. And he's been spamming as John Connor. Time for bed. Got an early start. Dr. Wolf. No problem at all. Dinky do to you, I say. So that's lovely. We did answer him. And he's spamming. Well done. Thanks, Shakaroni. We sorted him out. Uh, Scott Fraser sends me Scotland. And lots of lovely hearts. Football's coming home, says Nathan. Coming home to England, Nathan. Good man. Uh, are you, what do we got here? Are you a cash app paying service? That's how American friends can pay you. Uh, well, I don't know MSN. What we do have is paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue. <laughs> if you go on to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel, you can buy me a pie. It's all there. We also, if you're feeling flush, we've got uh, GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. <laughs> so that's what we're doing there. Sun hasn't set. It's lovely, isn't it? There we are. Just such a thing, good sir. Are you all right? A sear shoulder. No, I don't have a sear shoulder. Don't worry about that. Have you ever played golf? Never in my puff. Absolutely. Happy to be a Scotty wingman. Shakaroni, I thank you. Vegetarian lattice slice and that rich chicken sauce. So it's quite rich in chicken, the sauce. Big shout out for Drum Chapel and Royston Hill. Uh, we've done all that. Totally agree, says Tate. Hello, Scotty. We love you. Ever been to Liverpool, Scotty? Lloyd, are you serious? Scotty McClue broadcast live in Radio City for years. You should broadcast, check out, Scotty. You're a breath of fresh air. We love you, mates. Absolutely. Would you like a roast chicken? There we are. Hello, I haven't seen you for a few days. Remember me from Newcastle? Of course, AGB, Wallace, and Newcastle. I'm going to like all the videos. Ooh, Shakaroni. That's a tall order. Guys, Shakaroni is volunteered to like all the videos. Can everybody go and join him and like all the videos on TikTok? Get on to the YouTube channel as well. A big shout out for Mags and Gib, no problem. Hello, Scotty. Flat cam out there. It's the Lux Seaforth. I got you, Nobby. What was the one that uh, broke down recently? Going for a close female friend tomorrow. Can you wish me luck? MSN, good night with a close female friend. Oh, huge luck. MSN, you'll not need luck. She will be going out with you because she adores you. Hashtag float eye, first lord of the internet. Yes, that's very interesting, Scotty. It was the 100th anniversary two years ago on the 1st of January. So that was 1919. Hogmanay, New Year 1919, the night of um, the, the, the new year. Ah, tragedy, tragedy. And they survived the first world war. So there you go. Uh, I don't know if you've got a list of casualties, but could you tell me if there were, there might be more than one McLeods on board. Good evening, my friend, Leakingberry Dinky-Doo. Uh, hello, says Mookie Monster. 
Hi, do you remember me, Alistair? Of course I remember you. How lovely to have you back with us. There we go. Uh, Nicola Sturgeon and Prince Charles were here for the opening of the new monument at the site. Right, Nobby, but is the old monument doing its stuff? What's the story about the grand piano? Need to find that. Are you enjoying the summer? Are you going anywhere to staycation? No, I think I'll not bother now. I've become a bit of a home bird, and there's so much to do. Three visually impaired mice. <clears throat> right. Three visually impaired mice. Three visually impaired mice. See how they run. See how they run. They all run under an omnibus. The driver, he kicked up an awful fuss. They came out the other side, none the worse. Those three visually impaired mice. How's that for political correctness, guys? You don't get much more woke than that. An artist painted a portrait of every sailor lost. Wow, Nobby. I love your accent. It's awesome. I thank you, Mokai Monster. Can you please wish Ronnie good luck in recovering from his addiction? I can. My name is Louis. No problem at all. Well done. Evening, Scotty Dinky Do. Hope you're well. Lord Steve. Very well indeed. Lovely to have you on, sir. Scotty, any wise words for the day? Yes, I have wise words for the day. Let me just think of some wise words. The things that are seen are transient. The things that are unseen are eternal. They say all roads lead to Rome. All roads lead to God. Isn't that interesting? What do you think? Good evening from the heart of Ireland. Chien. Chien, Sien, Kien. How do you like me to say it? Can you say it's Spanish? Hold on. Hola, dinky do. We love Scotty McClure, 29 years of a legend on the airways. Shakaroni, 29 years on Monday night. Guys, 29 years Scotty McClure has been live in some shape or form broadcasting. Good evening, Scotty. Good one for Andy Murray at Wimbledon. Glenn, I loved Wimbledon. Did you see uh, Roger? Yes, I thought that was amazing. Fantastic. Roger Federer, do ducks wonder? So there we are. Cool, guys. I don't know what you mean about that. It looks strange. Uh, there were many McLeods. There wasn't a village that it didn't affect. Ah, Nobby. Yes, that would be difficult to know then if there were. I thought there'd be many McLeods because I know Lewis is a big McLeod stronghold. And, of course, Dunvegan. Dunvegan on Sky is McLeod's, aren't they? McLeod of McLeod. All roads lead to the Vatican's pocket, Scotty. Do you think so, Jarvie? I don't know. I don't think it's just the Vatican that's got um, deep pockets and short arms, you know? Uh, there's also a new book about the Ayalair. Uh, the, is it Ayalair or Yolair, Nobby? First or second one? Good morning from Australia, Scotty. I hope you're well. I know it means the eagle. And I know that uh, Lewis is a great stronghold of the McVicars as well, the sons of the eagle. You know, the sons of the eagle. Woo! They are there. Fantastic. Uh, good morning from Australia, Scotty. I hope you're well. Have we not got a new, a new Yolea? There we are. Uh, do you ever think there'll be a boy born that can swim faster than a shark? Well, Jim, you never know. You see, people evolve, and we might get faster. I mean, if we keep watching small screens, we may lose our long, our long sight, you know, our long-distance vision. So, Pompous Scotty, just call it Wimbledon rather than that SW19. What did I call it, Stevie? There we are either. You know there's no pomposity in me. Carmack ferries are always... Ah, oh, nubby. Well, I mean, I think we were spoiled in the West Coast. I knew people that were very high up in David McBrain Limited. Was it David McBrain, brackets 1928, 
close the brackets, limit it, because I know that they rejigged the company in 1928. And there were a lot of beautifully built boats. A lot of them were steam, and I was on a lot of them that were steam or diesel. So you had uh, things, the David McBrain fleet, when my father was little, still had the old Columba and the Iona from 1864 was the Iona, and 1878 was the Columba, I think. And they ran till well into the 1930s. Are we chin on the squeeze box, sir? Ah, Jim, I might just do that. When did we come on, guys, so that I know? Scotty, how much was the Brave Heart film was true? I, I would have thought not a great deal, Skin, uh, but it was very good to watch. Our government are the laughing stock of the world, country. It's bloody ridiculous. Ah, la hoop. When you say our government, who do you mean? The Irish government, the British government, the Northern Irish government. Scotty, did you ever meet Benny Hill? No, sadly, I didn't meet Benny Hill. I met uh, Bernard Manning. Les Dawson sadly died about, I think it was the week, not long after the, uh, I went to Red Rose Radio. So it'll be about 29 years ago, Les died. Uh, and Benny Hill, great guy, very funny, should never, ever, ever have been taken off the airwaves. It's a bit of comedy, for goodness sake. People need to really wise up and lighten up. The Isle of Lewis, oh, there they are, and the Loch Seaforth have both been having issues. Now, you see, when I was young, Nobby, I don't think there was an Isle of Lewis and Chalen Yochs, but uh, there was uh, the Loch Seaforth of 1949. She was a kind of uh, half passenger, half cargo, because my brains used to uh, carry sheep and all sorts of cattle, everything, cargo, humans, cars. And if they didn't have a ferry, they would swing your car on board with the derrick. It was called the derrick, and they would put your car with nets around the wheels and up should go, and on to the deck. Fantastic. I've stood and watched it in Tom and Maury Pier in 1965. Merry Christmas. We had the Columba, the Klansman, and the Hebrides all built. I think they were, were they not Hall Russell in Aberdeen? And they came out brand new in 1964. And then we had the Claymore. Uh, before that, we had the old Loch Var. Yes, which I think was a motor vessel. Uh, do level crossing gates open and shut over 15 seconds? I would think it's a cool guy. I actually came through a level crossing tonight. And the train passed at speed and the gates were up and were away. Bring back the Sulvan. I've been on the Sulvan Nobby. She was a cracker. Always, mate, he's a legend. Scott Fraser, I thank you. I'll read from you, Castle lad. Ah, Newcastle, we love you. Thanks for joining us, eh? Fantastic. I used to whack the dog. Doing it uh, South Shields. Fantastic. He loved that. And then we'd go back to Century Radio in Gateshead, man. And uh, we'd broadcast Scotty McClue. Fantastic. Century Radio. Yollier had a sister yacht called the Marmion, which was a minesweeper. Minesweeper in the First World War. So was the Yollier a big old private yacht that they chartered or, uh, or the Admiralty had requisitioned, I would imagine? The Irish government, so they've pushed indoor dining for another three weeks at least. So you can't dine out in. You can't dine in when you're out. Is that right, Lahoub? Do tell. Uh, now, who have we got? Ipalen. We'll send you down the Swanee for being an idiot. There he goes. Fantastic. Right. E. Palin's gone, guys, for trolling. Have you ever heard of a ship called the Olympic? Yes, I have. She was a Cunarder. And she was around, I think, at the time of the Titanic. Now, was it the Olympic that they thought sank and not the Titanic? Some sort of jiggery pokery was suspected any truth in any of that would you say fantastic my great uncle was on her when it went down nobby your great uncle was in the yolier oh my goodness 
Uh, yes, you should be called a sir. Give him a knighthood. Jim Stephen Gibb, you're such a top man. Do you watch sport? I don't really get time to watch much, to be honest, because I do so much work, paperwork, reading, live streaming, looking after people, you know, all that stuff. Uh, yes, there's a video of people coming home from the States uh, with cars. There we are. There's a video of people coming home from the States to SY with cars. To SY. Oh, to Stornaway, for goodness sake. I wondered where lowers, lowercase SY. <laughs> to Stornaway. Fantastic. Uh, there we are. Uh, what about no Scotland, no England, no Ireland, no Wales? Just the United Harmony. Skin Bob, I would go for that. Scotty McClue would help you out with all that. Uh, worth looking on YouTube for the videos? Absolutely, Nobby. You get on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel and there's some crackers on there. Oh, you're talking about the, the all air. Right, okay, I will. Uh, I don't think I am all the ticket. I think you're a very much cool guy. What are you most proud of in your working career? I'm proud of TikTok Live. That's a huge achievement. I'm proud that I've maybe helped people out, saved a life or two, uh, done all sorts of interesting things, interviewed people, uh, wound people up, <laughs> all that kind of idea. Um, television, radio, serious newscasting, serious journalism, and then a bit of nonsense as well. 29 years of Scotty McClue. Setting up radio stations. You know, setting up radio stations. Incredible. And I've only met one really bad man who took money off me in a business deal. Uh, I've given you your title. You're now a star, Jim Stephen Gibb. Thank you. Do you like that one, Sir Scotty McClue? Uh, well, restaurants aren't allowed to open inside. If you go to a hotel, they can open inside. It's a joke. Now, Herb, these things are a bit of a joke, you know. How long would it take the Earth, Scotty, to orbit the Milky Way and the Sun? Ah, Robert Scrimger. Now, I'm not very good on space questions because it's not something I've studied big time. But the Earth and the Milky Way, how long would it take the Earth to orbit the Milky Way and the Sun? The Earth goes round the sun. Is it one year? Would that be any good? What are your pronouns? Machachra. We never, never do pronouns on here, la. These are old-fashioned things, divisive, impolite. Never ask anybody their pronouns, I say. Uh, go by their nouns and come on here. We're all inclusive. Never a problem. So nobody has to justify themselves. Scotty, I've just done an operation on my foot. Charlie, I hope you're okay. I'm watching Gregory's Girl, a good Scottish classic. Skin Bob, keep an eye out for the head teacher, who happens to be one Charles Murray. Chick. Hello, Scotty, the legendary broadcaster you said city. Hello, my friend. Sorry, the P.S. Marmion and P.S. Waverley were sister ships. They were. Nobby, you're right. And the first Waverley was bombed at Dunkirk. But... Uh, I think, was it, I think it was Captain John Cameron that was her skipper. And in 1947, the London and North Eastern Railway Company, soon to be part of British Rail, uh, built a new Waverley. My dear, dear old friend uh, actually engined her at his foundry, Rankin and Blackmores, the engineers in Greenock. They floated her down from A.G. Ingalls at Point House and fitted her engines. And these engines are running to this day. Pop into your phones, Waverley Engines, and you'll see them there. Scotty, what do you do for a living? Do you know GA34? I started work when I was 12 on the boats. Last week, I heard from my old skipper for the first time in 50 years. That gorgeous. And he's looking great. So it was just tremendous. And uh, yeah, I've enjoyed every single job I've ever done. And as I say, 
Only one bad man. I lost my life savings to a very, very, very bad man. And that's the only bad man I've ever met in my life. So there we go. And I had to recover from that or try to. Scotty, uh, what are you saying here? I inform, educate and entertain. I'm off to what now? Try to like as many of your videos. I have time to said, Sydney, are you not just amazing? Well, have a lovely, lovely day at work. What do you think of modern day media? Very, very poor, very weak, very risk averse, very much towing the party line, bordering on propaganda. Uh, you know, I mean, I was in for an absolute top broadcasting job and apparently some boss said, we don't know his politics. Now, I'm apolitical for a specific reason so that I can discuss everything. You know, but the, the, the upside of all this is that I can remember a programmer going to a big media boss and saying, can we afford to have Scotty McClure? And the big media boss said, can we afford not to have Scotty McClure? Now, isn't that beautiful? There we are. Fantastic. And I remember a head of ITV, long time ago now, but head of ITV, saying um, to me, he said, Scotty, I don't know anybody in this business who doesn't like you. That was like a, a bolt from the blue for me. You know, I'm off to work now. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day at work. So I'm sorry I walk with nature to be a little bit negative, but the best media at the moment right now is on the internet and on TikTok Live. Get yourselves on there. Now, who have we got here? Scotty, did you ever watch the old grey whistle test? I did off. Do you know why it's called that? So there we go. Do you know Elton John? Of course, I know of Elton John, but I've never actually met him. There we are. I met so many famous people, though. Uh, what have we got here? The Noble Scott. Talk to the hashtag TNS. Ah, wow. It would take Scotty 200 million years for the Earth to orbit the Milky Way and Sun. Robert, it better set out now then. That's quite a journey. That 200 million years is more than I've spent on the radio. I mean, amazing. I'm in pain. Charlie, I'm sorry to hear it. There we are. Just amazes me the knowledge you have about certain things. It's a real talent. La Hoop, you are a very, very, very wise man yourself. Have you ever served in the military? Damien, we are not going to that sir. Long as we up shot his way down. There we go. Please tell us a joke. Please tell you a joke. What sort of joke could I tell you that you would enjoy? Uh, fantastic. There we are. I, I, I was in a circus and I was the human cannonball. Uh, until I got fired. and uh, But it was good money and a bit of mileage as well, you know, very, very good. What was the Japanese secret weapon when they invaded Singapore and Malaya in World War II? Their secret weapon, if I remember Robert Scrimger, was the bicycle and a bag of rice. Uh, am I correct? They crept up behind the uh, the British forces who had their guns trained on the sea. So there we are. And I think their secret weapon might have been the bicycle. Do tell me. And there we are. I would love to know about that. And I remember when old Lord Louis Mountbatten, wonderful man, I remember when he was the commander-in-chief, the supreme commander, Southeast Asia. And um, he had to let the Japanese army go at the end because there were just so many of them. You couldn't hold the whole army prisoner, you know what I mean? It's, am I right, Robert? Scotty, have you ever seen the Midland Pullman locomotive? I think I probably have, Charlie. I think I probably have seen. I've seen lots of them. Do you think you should put a statue of Chick Murray and Billy Connolly up in the West End? I think they'd be very popular, Skin Bob. Mind you, they put dear old Donald Dewar up in Buchanan Street. The poor soul got quite a bit of abuse at first. I don't know why people vandalise things. 
So there we are, lovely, lovely stuff. Ever been to the Scottish borders, Charlie Hope? Are you for real? Scotty McClue used to broadcast on border television. Uh, respect, Scotty. So many shows broadcasting as entertainment that have a massive political agenda. Well, you see, I don't think politics are where the power is nowadays, unless you're somebody like Donald Trump, you know. Uh, but I don't think that. I think the power is in the internet. You know, I think that's where the real power is these days. The internet, absolutely, and the big tech companies. Fantastic stuff. Uh, I don't know why it's called the old grey whistle test, but uh, I remember whistling Bob Harris. Bob, well, I knew Bob, you see, and, and I, I've actually worked with Bob Harris. Now, can I tell you why it's called the old grey whistle test? The uh, When the program came on, they were wondering what to call it. And uh, they used to play all these tunes. And the um, guys who were in charge of, what would you call them really? Um, you know, the sort of uh, footmen, if you like, that, uh, that did security and did the doors in the BBC in the main building at Broadcasting House. They were usually older retired men in general, in general, and they would whistle a tune if it was a good one. So the test for what was a good tune was to play it and see if the old grey staff, security staff, would whistle it. The old grey whistle test. Isn't that amazing? That's the story I heard anyway. Should private land be given back to the people, Scotty? No, if it's private land, then it's been bought, Robert. And, uh, you know, I mean, the people aren't really wanting to pick up the bill for that because that's what would happen. You know, rest assured. Hey, Robert, you haven't told me if it was the bicycle. What are you currently doing radio-wise just now, Scotty? Johnny, I'm uh, off the radio for over a year now. Uh, the last one was Nation Radio Scotland. And then I got an offer um, to go abroad, uh, but that hasn't yet happened due to COVID. So there we go. Who's your favourite comedian? I have so many, Jim. Uh, Billy Connolly would be up there, obviously. He's a real funny. Um, who else? I love... Um, oh, my goodness me, you've got me. Having to remember all these. Uh, wait till we see. So Billy Connolly, definitely. Uh, comedians like Bob Hope. Uh, you know, Bob Hope was an amazing comedian as well. Chick Murray, absolutely outstanding. Chick Murray was amazing. And uh, who else have we got? Uh, the Scottish, uh, look at Scottish comedians. Walter Carr was a good comic actor. Uh, Lex McLean, I can go back to Lex McLean. Ricky Fulton and Jack Mulroy were great comedy. Gregor Fisher, a wonderful great comic actor. Um, and and that whole team from Rab C. Nisbet were amazing. Elaine C. Smith. Um, who else have we got? Comic actors. The Still Game guys, very talented, very able actors. Uh, very funny. Uh, so we've got that one. Kevin Bridges, another very funny man, pure comedy, stand-up comedy, all that sort of idea. So, you know, these are just a few of them because I do admire comedians. It's a great skill. So, Scotty McClure, we thank you, Jim. Thank you very much. Thanks, but I'm not Scotty. I keep myself to myself. I enjoy my own company. Yes, I know that, Lahoub, but that will go back to experiences as a young man when you came out with clever, interesting stuff and people said, ha, are you hearing the rubbish this boy's talking? Hey, uh, are you hearing the nonsense? I've never heard so much nonsense in all my life from that Lahoub. <laughs> he's talking this and he's talking that and he'll know nothing of it. And they were doubting Thomas's Lahoub. Now, I want you to forgive these people and let them float away into the ether. And I want you to do your own thing and enjoy every second of it. Do it with confidence. 
because you are an extremely clever man. Because you and I have had discussions. So I know giving yourself to yourself, great. Enjoying your own company, great. Wonderful. But also remember that you can and you will. And this is the moment and you are the one. My dear, dear friend, Lahub, down in the Republic of Ireland there. Fantastic. Or are you down in the bottom of the north? You get air miles as a human cannonball. Thanks, Nobby. <laughs> we love it. Uh, so there we are. Fantastic. Dinky you do. Sir Patrick, lovely to have you with us. And dinky you do. Uh, it was the bicycle, Scotty. Yes. Sounded like tanks to the British and Commonwealth forces. Well, you see, the Japanese travelled light. They had a wee bag across their uh, shoulders with rice in it. And they could also get a little bit of water and boil up some rice, gobble that up and ride their bicycles. Whereas the British forces had three-ton trucks, chuck wagons, tea brewing up, all that stuff. What happened to Scott FM? Somebody bought it and made a dreadful mess of it. <laughs> that was the end of Scotland's most fantastic radio station. I think we were maybe causing the competition a bit of a headache, to be honest. And I wouldn't be surprised if that's one of the reasons Scotty McClue was taken off, because there was certainly nothing I had said or done or, uh, you know, got wrong or anything. Everything was perfect for Scotty McClue. The audience was huge, bordering on the quarter of a million every half hour. We broke the records for 460,000 telephone calls to a radio station in a week. So I did all my stuff right, but somebody somewhere managed to uh, to shoot the golden goose, to smash up a success. There we are. Scotty is Andy Murray, Scotland's greatest sportsman. Uh, I think probably Scotland's greatest sportsman would have been... Uh, um, wait till I think about this. I think would have been Eric, um, the guy that wouldn't run on a Sunday, Chariots of Fire. Eric, that's dreadful. My apologies to Eric. I know he's no longer with us, but I think he was probably Scotland's greatest sportsman. Uh, Eric, somebody just remind me of Eric's second name, guys. It's on the tip of my tongue, but, uh, but I need to get it right. And uh, he was he inspired the movie Chariots of Fire. So there we are. He was probably the greatest sportsman. We also had wonderful people like uh, James Watt, Jim Watt, the boxer. Uh, we had Ken Buchanan, the boxer. Benny Lynch, the boxer. A lot of boxing in those days. Who have we had? We've had wonderful sprinters. We've had the curling team. Rona and her curling team. We've had wonderful rugby internationalists, uh, wonderful football players. So it's very difficult just to cast Andy as Scotland's greatest sportsman, but in my eyes, he's a very, very, very great man. A very great man indeed. So there we are. Nice hat. Scotty, I'm back. The Japanese were told not to take prisoners in Singapore. It would delay their advance Robert, it was dreadful. I remember auditioning for, uh, as an actor, we were all after a job, and I was auditioning for uh, a play about the Japanese. I was supposed to be a Japanese prisoner of war. And there were three very thin young actors there and me. And um, the director came up and he said, what weight are you? You must be 18 stone. I said, yeah, what's the problem with that? He said, you're supposed to be a Japanese prisoner of war. I said, well, they only caught me last night. <laughs> Not making light of it, guys. So I knew a lot of heroes that had been taken prisoner by the Japanese. Uh, Scotty, I'm back. Dinky do. Follow us, guys. Ken Dodd. Yes, I knew Ken Dodd. Lovely, lovely man. Another of my favourite comedians. Well done. Les Dawson. Another one, of course. Still game boys are hysterical. They are, Nobby. 
Very good. I wouldn't have minded a wee part there because they say Scotty McClue was the original inspiration for Still Game. I was so big on the radio at the time and they thought flat caps. Have you ever been on the Northern Irish Rail? Thoughts, Lewis, it's a little luxury. I've denied myself. Yes, indeed. Scotty McClue, my friend, how have you been? Click start. Lovely to have you with us. I appreciate that, uh, Scotty, I really do, in my opinion, you're one of a kind. Uh, well, thank you, Lahub. In my opinion, you are too, sir. What's the time, guys? I'm in the Republic on the border of the North. Got you, Lahub. You're just over. Remember standing, having a drink at the bar. And so I said, so what's on the agenda for tomorrow then? I said, well, I was going to go up to the North. Would I have a problem at the border? No. There's no border now to speak of. That, to me, was music to my ears. There we are. Geodog. There we are. Did the Japanese bribe their rice? No, Geodog, you never, ever bribe rice. As a dear friend of mine from South Africa told me, it would go up like petrol. You should know that. It was Geodog that told me, guys. Apparently, if you throw rice on your braai in South Africa, whoosh, end of rice, end of braai, end of steaks. You suppose Scottish independence, Scotty, are your unionist? Lewis, what a ridiculous question. You know that Scotty McClue knows that Scotland would do very well economically as an independent country. But uh, the nationalists and separatists need to get their act together and they need to ensure that they secure Her Majesty the Queen as our head of state. Yes, that's the big one there. So, no, we're fine with that, Lewis. Eric Liddell. Eric Liddell. Robert, that's exactly who I meant. And for some reason, it might be because I'm broadcasting live. These things happen sometimes. If you get a little block, you think, I can't remember it. So, I don't have that because... I ask the audience. You see, I mean, and everybody helps like your good self. Eric Liddell, I think, was probably one of Scotland's greatest sportsmen. What do we think, guys? Pile in there. Do you think it's coming home? Hope to wear you. Jim Clark was very talented. Now, Nobby, there's another great one. And I remember being in school the day Jim Clark died. One of our class came in and said, Jim Clark's dead. We were all. We were just little ones at the time. Be, be about 12, I think. There's an Eric Little Centre in Edinburgh near Morningside at Holy Corner, I think. Ah, you are correct, Robert. That rings a bell. Holy Corner with all the churches there up in Morningside. Have you ever been to Blackpool? Jonathan, what a ridiculous question. Scotty McClue broadcasts to Blackpool every night for two years. Two and a half years. Hi from Rutherglen. Have you been to Wales? Of course I've been to Wales. I've been to Conway. I've been to Canaffron. Yes, indeed. Scotty, delighted to see Andy win today. Great for the Scots. He is Mr. Scotland. Yes, so as far as I'm concerned tonight, Andy Murray is Scotland's greatest sportsman. Dinky-doo, Andy. Guys, if you scroll down the Scotty McClue TikTok videos, you'll see... Andy Murray uh, in Washington, D.C., and an international Scotty McClue fan shouts out at the top of his voice, Dinky-doo, Andy, from Scotty McClue. And Andy, I would imagine, would have heard Scotty McClue. Loyalism's dying big time these days, Scotty, do you agree? Loyalism has never, ever been big, Lahub. It's always been a minority thing. But it's very powerful because governments like to use it to separate people. You know, I mean, it was um, William Pitt as the Prime Minister that uh, somebody said, Mr. Pitt, the Irish are getting a bit close together. The, the ordinary people, the poor people, the rich people, they're all shuffling up together as Irish people. And he said, don't worry, I shall divide and rule. I shall use the Orange Lodge to divide 
and drew. And the Orange Lodge are still pawns in the game. So I would say to the Orange Lodge, do a bit of thinking about where your real loyalties are. And uh, if Scotland's keeping the Queen and Ireland's going to keep the Queen in the north, then there we go. Uh, do you like Andy Stewart, the battle's o'er? Yes, I had the sheet music. I return to the fields of glory where the green grass and flowers grow and the wind softly tells the story of the brave lads of long ago. March no more, my soldier laddie. There is peace where there once was war. Sleep in peace now, soldier laddie. Sleep in peace, now the battle's o'er. Oh, don't. I find it so moving, guys. Wyoming's back. Good old Potter's McClure. Absolutely. Golden Benz, what are you saying to me? Are you uh, talking in Russian, Greece, <laughs> Hebrew? Ireland doesn't plan to keep the Queen in the North, Scotty. Irish reunification. Well, if you had re reunification, then I think the Queen should still be involved. You know what I mean? Because I think the Irish crown, what's the position with the Irish crown? And you've got to remember, the guy was it, um, was it, uh, who was it? Mr. Griffiths that started Sinn Féin. He was a huge monarchist. You know, so I think keep the Queen. Scotty, is football coming home? Well, we don't know. It's not coming home to Scotland. Guys, how long have I been on here? Does anybody know? <laughs> I think it's time to go. Arthur Griffith. That's him, La Hoop. Well, check old Arthur out, and I think you'll find he was a, a huge monarchist. He wasn't mad keen on the British royal family at the time because, you see, the monarchy were involved in stuff at that time, which they're not involved in now. So uh, I can remember when they were talking about the six counties, somebody said, can we wait till King George comes back and discuss it with him? So that was King George V. And his son, Edward VIII, said to Prince Charles when they met in 1969, uh, you know, you'll have, you might run up against the same challenges I did of the hardened Ulstermen. But uh, that's falling because the British have obviously flung Northern Ireland under a bus with Brexit. That's no secret. It's not just Sinn Féin that plan Irish reunification, Scotty. The, the government also wants it. When you say the government, are you talking about the Taoiseach? And the dial. There we are. Dinky do. Fantastic, Nobby. Scotty, you're a legend, mate. Always enjoy strolling through seeing your lives. Keep it up, pal. I'll do my best. But guys, please always support Scotty McClue in terms of liking and following. So if you haven't, if you genuinely haven't followed me, please follow because 600,000 people watch these lives. And I've only got something like I don't know, it's around 16,000 followers. Yes, the Taoiseach. Right indeed, Scotty. If Ireland's ever to unite, everything, including the Queen, will be on the table. Well, damn it, yes, but they might not be able to put the Queen on the table because Her Majesty graciously grants parliamentary sovereignty. I watched a lovely documentary on Wallace and Bruce last night. Ah, yes, a couple of lovely dogs. Oh, sorry, dear dog, you're being serious. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I understand. Yes, good stuff, dear dog. Keep up your Scottish roots. The monarchy is purely for ceremony and economics. It's an advantage and a bonus to the country. Yes, because it's virtually self-financing. I've been watching half-witted idiots all day tell me they thought the monarchy took money away from us and that we were financing them. Well, our nonsense. Scotty, I'll back you on that. I will, Robert. 100%. In fact, the royals give us 75% of their income. That's pretty generous, you know. And uh, the uh, queen and the heir to the throne are virtually self-financing through the duchess. 
Yes, indeed. Oh, yes. I'm not just an athlete, you know. I know these things. Are you Scottish, says Ryan? Ryan, nothing gets past you. Got it in one la. Well done. What are your thoughts on LGBTQ? A plus LGBTQ S. You need to add the S there. LGBTQS. Also, the army is loyal to the monarchy. Queen could stop a dictator from taking power. Well, what I can tell you is that uh, you will never, ever, ever, ever have a coup in the United Kingdom because it wouldn't be allowed. So there we are. Who have we got here? Uh, what's the S for? S is for straight. So LGBTQS. All right. Have you got that for us as well? Fantastic. Because you need to be inclusive if you wish to be included. That's what the S is for. So let's get into that. Dinky do I say. Wonderful stuff. Uh, street, yes. S for street. All the armed forces, yes, indeed. There are there a lot of the market they pledge to defend her islands, of course. And uh, you've got to remember, no, they aren't welcome in the community. Well, they need to be. You need to be inclusive. There we are. What? Says uh, Lahub. Fantastic stuff. Um, now, uh, if you've joined, joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm just looking at the time, and I think it's time I wasn't here. What a fabulous time. Now, D-Tan, that's not true. Oh, unless you were watching the video. All right, we'll let you off, D-Tan, because we quite like you. Uh, there we are. I thought he was trolling us for a second there, because as we know, nobody ever trolls Scotty McClue. Would you like a tune on the squeeze box? Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Night, night, Scotty, you're a star as always. So are you, Robert. They actively try to take away LGBTQ rights. Not straight people, but too many. No, 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 no. You must be inclusive. There we are. Good night, Scotty. Excellent. As per. Did you like Run Rig? I adored it. Donnie used to work with me in radio. Cheerio song, please, Scotty. Fantastic. There we are. Mose says, I pulled my own pork for dinner. Delicious with garlic and a cheese bun. Well done. You're missing the point, man. No, man, that is the point, man. What's your thoughts about Joe Biden? Um, I think he's probably getting on with it. He's not popular over the gas prices. And I think maybe people are angling to get old Donald Trump back. There we are. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Scotty, give us a wee lullaby in the squeeze box so I could go to sleep. Kathy from Liverpool, we love the bones of you. Good night, Botach. It was a pleasure chatting with you. Aichi Vamaha, it's a pleasure chatting with you. I'll tell you that. And regards to yourself, Botach. And regards to the Kalyach. Now, Koashin, Sha, Nobby, Ha! There we go. Aichi Va. Uh, don't call me a clown, you're the problem. And uh, Lahub is sorting them out quite right, Lahub. There we are, don't have any dafties on here. Right, guys, are we tuning in the squeeze box for you? Um, uh, right. I was thinking of something. Practice for that. Fantastic. 
and we'll finish up with um And uh, all the best to Nobby there. I hope that was okay. Make your way to Stornoway on the road to Orange Fantastic as me, buddy, says Nobby. Bless you, Nobby. Dinky do from Armagh, Scotty. Finish free. Lovely to have you. Guys, tell everybody about Scotty McClue. Follow, please, if you haven't followed. Like all the videos. Get onto this YouTube channel and subscribe and tap the bell because we might be doing some YouTube lives as well. Instagram, Scotty McClue 1. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for being so fabulous. Thanks for your generosity and for all the fun and all the laughter and all the banter. Dear dog, dinky do to you as well. Good night. God bless from Kavan. Thanks very much, O'Reilly. Lovely to have you with us, I say. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir. And a cheery oh, The fabulous and beautiful Maria Knight has given me ten good nights. Thank you so much. Good night, sir. Good night, Nobby. Take great care. Thank you for your lovely good nights, the lovely Maria Knight. Share the video, guys. Thank you. God bless Geo Dog and Dinky Doo to you, my dear, dear friend. I salute you, sir. Uh, there we are. Longest way up, shortest way down. Ta-da, Night, night. Sleep well.